When we think about modern mass-produced scrambler motorcycles, the most obvious models that come to mind carry Ducati, Triumph and Indian badges. Unfortunately, these machines belong to the premium segment of bikes and therefore their pricing acts as a deterrent against the majority of budget-constrained riders. But do not get discouraged if you've always dreamed about a scrambler. Today, we'll show you a lineup of the most affordable models that are currently on sale and are priced as low as $2800. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and let's save some money while shopping for the world's cheapest scramblers. Enjoy the ride! Royal Anfield Scram 411 The fan-favorite adventure platform of the Himalayan gives life to a dual-sport model with a scrambler styling. It should appeal to younger riders with more on-road riding ambitions, desires for a tamer riding experience and a more stylish design. The Scram 411 has a stripped-down look, gets blackout treatment and a round halogen headlight with a cowl and a bezel. It rides on dual-purpose tires wrapped around mismatched wire wheels, 19 inches front and 17 inches in the rear. This Royal Enfield is brought into motion by 411cc air-cooled single-cylinder that redlines at 6500rpm with 24 horsepower output and makes close to 24 pound-feet of twist. The basic package for the engine is electronic ignition and fuel injection and it is connected with a 5-speed constant mesh transmission with wet multi-plates. For the Scram, designers have developed seven vibrant color schemes and crafted a single-piece seat with a rear luggage rack. It has a very relaxed riding position of a standard bike with a 31-inch 795mm seat height and a tall suspension, 41mm conventional non-adjustable forks at the front and a monoshock in the rear with 178mm of travel. Herald Maverick 125 and 250 and Herald Scrambler 125 Herald Motor Co. has been a part of the British motorcycle industry since 2010. The company began its operations as an importer of retro-style two-wheelers but since then has progressed to design and manufacture many models on the UK soil. Their modern lineup includes multiple scrambler-looking models like the Scrambler 125 and Maverick and 125 and 250cc displacement. The lower-spec air-cooled four-stroke single cylinder is good for 10 horsepower, while the larger cylinder volume enables a 24 horsepower yield. These off-road-inspired machines have an aggressive retro-styled look featuring spoked wheels, knobbly tires, unique scrambler lines, side number boards, electric ignition and LED lights. These heralds are built around a steel frame with twin rear shocks and telescopic forks up front that boast of adjustability on the 250 model. Front and rear disc brakes are surely here, but ABS will be available only on the larger Maverick. Finally, the herald scramblers come with a two-year labor and parts warranty and are available in multiple color options. Husqvarna Swart Pillen 401 The brand's black arrow bike took years to go from a design sketch to production model, finally hitting assembly lines in 2018. Today it is available across most of the brand's major markets as an urban riding model capable of taking you to the weekend adventures. The Swart Pillin 401 focuses on making your ride comfortable, looking good and keeping its weight under 350 pounds with 2.5 gallons of fuel on board. Unchanged for 2023, the bike offers the familiar trellis frame with a WP suspension setup and reliable 17-inch wire wheels shot in Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires. The former consists of 43mm open cartridge forks and a swing arm connect to a progressive damping system. The engine unit is the same as in the KTM 390 Duke, a 373cc liquid-cold single-cylinder making 43.5 horses and 27 pound-feet. It has ride-by-wire fuel injection and a 6-speed gearbox, equipped with an easy-shift sensor. The bike's ergonomics will be especially comfortable for riders under 6 feet tall. It has a narrow seat and wide bars, and the braking package includes 320mm front brakes with bike brake calipers. Brixton Cromwell 125 
Owned by the Austrian KSR Group, Brixen Motorcycles offers a range of retro-styled motorcycle models with a displacement from 125 to 1200 cc. The Crumble 125 is the brand's entry-level scrambler, powered by a four-stroke 125cc engine with air cooling and electronic fuel injection. The mill comes paired to the five-speed manual gearbox, peaks at 11 horsepower, and produces 7.15 pound-feet of torque. This means that the bike can speed to 62 mph, and its fuel efficiency reaches 102 mpg. The chassis of the Scramble consists of a tubular steel frame, a telescopic fork up front, and a rear swing arm with dual shock absorbers. The front wheel is 18 inches in diameter, while the rear wheel is an inch smaller, measuring at 17. Both house hydraulic brakes with 272 and 220 mm brake discs. CBS is standard and ABS costs extra. Finally, we should mention Cromwell's LED DRLs and turn signals, a narrow leather seat, and a retro-styled fuel tank available in three color schemes. Fante Caballero 125 and 500 Made in Italy since 1968, the Fantics remain in the dreams of riders who value tricolor heritage. The Caballero family currently includes single-cylinder 125 and 500cc models and a recently introduced Peril Twin that still falls under the 10 grand category. Today we'll focus on the two more affordable versions with the 4-valve liquid-cold electronic fuel-injected Euro 5 compliant Minerali engine. The new cylinder head allows to reduce fuel consumption and yield higher outputs of 15 and 40 horsepower and 8 and 32 pound-feet respectively. The latest lineup of Fente Caballeros offers a quick disassembly saddle, new side panels, and a longer license hanger to protect against road debris. Available trims are as follows – Scrambly, Flat Track Deluxe, Explorer, Rally, and Anniversary Edition. The Rally variant is especially interesting. Boasting bulkier 43mm fork tubes compared to the standard 41mm option, as well as an increased rear shock travel of 7.9 inches, while other versions have 5.9 inches. Both the 125 and 500 Caballeros are equipped with a 320mm front disc and 230mm rear rotor, both of which feature disengageable two-channel ABS. They also share the same fuel capacity of 3.2 gallons. We are constantly on the lookout for the content to save your hard-earned cash. So make sure to smash the like button and stick around till the end to support our efforts. More affordable bikes are on the way. Let's keep rolling! Mott Hilt 250 Originating from Birmingham, United Kingdom, the Hilt is a natural evolution of the Mott's first and best-selling model, Mongrel. The mix of aggression and finesse is ensured by the craftsman painters who individually finish each bike in deep matte green and black colors with subtle mod monograms on the tank and side panels. The antique seats are formed in brown leather and hand-stitched, giving an adulterated luxury vintage vibe. The Mod Hilt's 250 features a halogen yellow-tinted lamp protected by a powder-coated grill up front and LED indicators in the back. The Mod Hilt's 250 model showcases fully blacked-out 18-inch wheels wearing fat, deep, tridy knobbly tires. The hand-finished aluminum modguards have been shortened and color matched to both the tank and side panels for a cohesive and visually appealing look. The bike has a dual shortened twin-shock frame that carries a four-stroke single-cylinder engine with 250 cubic centimeters displacement. This mill is air-cooled, fuel-injected, and coupled with a five-speed transmission. It yields 17 horsepower, 13 pound-feet of torque, and exhales three matte black stainless steel exhaust. Finally, the manufacturer managed to cram in an ABS system that controls single-disc front and rear brakes. Mesh X-Ride Classic The latest model from the French experts in retro-inspired single cylinders takes most of its styling cues from the original 1970 Yamaha XT500. The Mesh X-Ride 650 features a strict-looking front end with a round headlamp and a minimalistic dashboard, including a tachometer indicator lights, speedometer and gear indicator. The seat is positioned high and is rather firm while the fuel tank looks like it was borrowed from the original XT500. 
Well-versed fans of the 70s will also notice gold anodized treatment on the 17-inch wheels, a blacked-out engine, and a black double-pipe trumpet of the raised exhaust. The Mesh X-Ride Classic is propelled by a Chinese-made Honda Dominator engine displacing at 644cc. The air-cooled single-cylinder delivers 39 horsepower and 32 pound-feet of twist, with a power-distributed 3.5-speed gearbox. For the asking price, Mesh Motors equips their affordable scrambler with a switchable ABS, an inverted fork suspension with 41mm bars, and a monoshock rear with remote adjustment. Blue Rock Hero 50, 125, and 250. Blue Rock Motorcycles, previously known as Bullet, is an up and coming manufacturer of two wheelers with the RD department in Belgium and production lines in China. The Hero is Blue Rock's scrambler styled family of motorcycles with captivating appearance, drawing inspiration from the iconic classics like the Suzuki DR650. These bikes can be enjoyed solo or as a pair. Notably, Heroes stand as one of the tallest small displacement bikes available, offering an adjustable seat height ranging from 860 to 910 mm. This elevated stance proves particularly advantageous for the off-road adventures on green lanes, granting riders improved visibility and stability on challenging and muddy terrains. In 2023, model range of Heroes is comprised of three bikes, with 50, 125 and 250cc displacements. The smaller two feature an air-cooled four-stroke engine and a five-speed transmission, but the recently introduced 250 ups the game with the liquid-cooled twin-cam four-valve mill and a six-speed manual. Power outputs are 4, 10, and 27 horsepower respectively. Notable mechanical components are a fast-stack swing arm and a spring oil damper, inverted upside-down forks, and single disc brakes with ABS. The Blue Rock Heroes are available in four color options titanium, flame orange black, gold black, and desert trophy special edition. SWM66500 This bike brings styling and technology updates for the 2023 model year. The SWM66500 gains a new Enduro style handlebar to provide the scrambler with improved maneuverability when navigating corners as well as a set of new gas-charged rear shock absorbers and an optional rear luggage rack. Additionally, it can be ordered in red and orange color options. Overall, the exterior of the bike remains largely unchanged. The 66500 sports familiar scrambler design cues with high mod guards, a cowl-equipped headlight, nubby tires on 19 and 17-inch wheels, a duo of high-mounted mufflers, and a comfortable saddle positioned at 33 inches. Light off-roading will not cause any troubles, as the 66500 is suspended by an adjustable 43mm fork and a double hydraulic shock absorber with spring preload adjustment. At the heart of the bike is an air-cooled 445cc single cylinder that outputs around 30 horsepower. In 2022, the output was slightly downtuned to meet Euro 5 standards. Some of these bikes are indeed manufactured in China, but many brands have already established robust dealer and service networks, so buying them is way less risky than in the past. Let us know what models are missing from this list and which ones would you personally recommend buying. Before you go, remember to subscribe to Automotive Territory, smash the like button, and proceed to exploring other motorbike buying guides through the links on the screen. May the torque be with you!